Sorry. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. This question is from uh, Austin Slater. It says, um, my hook is pretty good when I'm in an offensive position, but it seems like when I catch somebody in a hook and I'm in a losing position, I don't have much strength and can't hold people off. What can I do to strengthen this on the table as well as in the weight room? Is the bicep the most important muscle group when I'm in a hook and in a defensive or losing position? Any tips would be greatly appreciated. Okay, uh, defensive hook. First off, I'll say that so much of what happens on the table is individual to each puller's strengths. However, I think that there's some things that, that have a lot of crossover. Okay, defensive hook is happening because you're not strong enough to get into an offensive position. So whichever way you're hitting, hitting into a hook, hitting up high, get turned, okay, what, what's happening is, for one, you're getting turned, okay? That means his, his curling ability is stronger than your rotational ability, okay? So you're getting turned over, okay? Okay, now, defensive hook is going to work if you can just maintain two things, okay? Wrist position and bicep lock, okay? So if I'm hitting top row, okay, if Eric starts to take me down, if he starts to turn me, if I keep fighting for that turn, okay, he'll take me all the way to the pad if I'm still trying to turn with him. Same thing, if I'm hooking and I'm trying to turn, okay, and if he starts turning me, he'll take me all the way down if I stick with that move. Defensive hook, there's a switch involved, okay? So Eric starts tearing me, and I go right inside, okay? I'm giving up all this rotation, okay? I'm not fighting here anymore. I've given it up, okay? I've given it all to him. So when he turns me, he can keep turning all he wants, but he's turning into dead space, okay? Now if he wants to beat me, he either has to beat my bicep or he has to come through my wrist, okay? Yeah, I have bad position for, for rotation, but as long as my bicep is strong and my wrist is strong, that's, that's the key to the defensive hook. So, again, fighting, start turning, can't beat him, I have to turn in with him, okay? Give him all the rotation he wants, drive up with the bicep, lock the wrist, and now it's a waiting game. Position, get closer, get closer, drive up higher, who knows, you might eventually be able to top roll again. Press, hook, you got your choices. In the gym, what's important is wrist, any kind of wrist, static. But the big thing with the defensive hook, in my opinion, is bicep locking strength. Uh, you can train it by working the bicep at the angle that you're at on the table. A lot of people do table curls, which is great. Myself, I prefer working off a preacher, going down and going through, going through the angle. But anything where you're working the bicep in a locked position, I think, is optimal for that.